and Trashkovic out very well. Also out on the far side, Anton. But now Trashkovic starting to pull away from his rivals. Selesh coming through for a clear second place at the moment, but there's no doubt at all about the winner. Milian Trashkovic, season's best of 13.39 for the Cypriot. Warming up well for events later on this season, including the World Championships in Budapest in August. But from gun to take, this really was a display from Milan Trashkovic, the former European indoor champion. Really good hurdling, very quick between the barriers. Nobody getting close to him. No accidents, no problems. 16 points for Cyprus. Trashkovic winning in 13.38. Selish of Hungary, 13.68. And Anton, just a few hundredths away from his personal best in 13.80. And there is the consolidated results. Hungary still leading with 174 points. Ukraine, a little way further back. And Slovenia in the promotion positions as well. Iceland, Luxembourg and Moldova. They are the bottom three at the moment and looking to try and avoid relegation. Blonadic of Slovenia. <coughs> Slovak Republic and Suman on the outside in Estonia. And it's the Slovenian who's away now, but Kozak starting to come through. Gravisgard pressing, but Kozak from midway through the race controlled that race. 12 90 for Kozak. Well, Gravisgard. He was pressing all the way through the race, but couldn't get up on equal terms with Kozac. I was like, I had to win this race because my PB is way the fastest in the heat, so I just had to win it. That was my goal. I'm so happy with my season best. It's only my third hurdle race, so I'm getting faster and faster from race to race. So I hope, I hope some faster time today, but it was kind of headwind, I think. But the win is a win, and I'm happy that I could add 16 points to Hungary. And I hope we still lead the board. I didn't check it today. So let's go, Hungary. Confirmation of the results. Luka Kozac just revised to 12.89. Meta Graviskar, 12.95. And after 15 events, well, we've got another 10 to be contested here today in this second division. Hungary lead. 205 points, 29 and a half points ahead of Ukraine. Shutai at 470 then. First time clearance 460 just prior. And she does make it over. So I wonder whether she'll next attempt 475, the championship record. So we often see on the international stage big gaps in the 400 meter hurdles between the best athletes. Will that be the case here? Nadetska and Tkachuk within that 53 second window based on lifetime bests. We watch to see who rises first. Tkachuk in the yellow and blue, Zupin on her outside. Yalka Molnar also going nicely. That battle for first place in the team standings between Hungary, who have the lead, and Ukraine, who are trying to close them down. And that will be the case in this event. To catch a bit of a stutter there, but she is well away and clear. The Ukrainian from Zupin of Slovenia, a bit of pressure on her from Molnar of Hungary, but to catch it takes maximum points for Ukraine in 55.87 seconds. A victory that was somewhat expected, but uh, maximum points for Ukraine. A kiss to the crowd as well inside the stadium. To catch up in 55.87 officially from Zupin and from Molnar. Another top three though for the Hungarian team. And there are the team standings. After 19 of 37 events, Hungary still in the lead, 35 and a half points. That difference is just not changing. Hungary could be poised to take the win over Ukraine. It's been a good afternoon for Slovenia as well. They're in second place. Struggle goes on for Iceland, Luxembourg and Moldova. They are currently in the relegation zone. So. 
Well, they were held for a long time. Margie's out quickly. Also out quickly, Balush of Slovak Republic. Balush flying down the back straight, up on the shoulder of Kostic, the Serbian. And it's Balush doing very well at the moment. Gusek of Slovenia on his inside, chasing Balush. He's got them in his sights, but running blind on the outside in lane nine. It's Rasmus Margi. Margi now coming into the home straight. They're coming into hurdle seven. This is where his compatriot came to grief earlier. But no problems at all for Margi. Now Margi, a good yard clear of the Slovenian Gusek. And it's Margi, taps that hurdle, but now he's pulling away. And this is a very good run indeed for Margi. A great return to form. 48-63 for Margi. Moves up to fifth on the European 2023 list with that race. He'll be very pleased with that. That's an excellent run from Margi, having come back after injury. Good team points, 16 points for Estonia. Gusek of Slovenia does get indeed second place, 49-48. And a personal best for Matej Balush. Twenty of the 37 events completed. Hungary, 273, 33 and a half points ahead of Ukraine. And then that battle royal for third place, Slovenia. Now just starting to edge in front of the likes of Croatia and Romania. Christian Che winding himself up, unleashing it, and a roar from Christian Che. Emotion, and it is over the 70 meter mark without a doubt. And you just have to think if you're in one of those arenas where there's a little bit of help for the discus, how far this two kilogram implement would have flown with that sort of throw. He does get absolutely the right angle of release and a smile of contentment on the face. Well, I thought it was over 70 meters, but it extends his championship record to 69.94. Confirmation of the results in that very good quality discus competition. Well, there's no one there to challenge. Christian Che winning by exactly five metres from Andreas Gudzius of Lithuania. And they're away, no problems here. Looks like a good start for Bulgaria. And Danova, the red bottoms there, but perhaps Denmark and Kramer as well. She hands over to hurdle specialist Meta Gravisgard as they sprint away down the, down the back straight. Karekas looked like she had a good first leg for Hungary. They've made up the Stago and Lithuania outside of them. Here goes Hungary again. That's a good change of well. It was slightly late, but it was smooth. They kept their momentum. Screams from the women down here. Hungary in the lead at the moment. Takas de Sorgian, can they manage it in the changeover zone? They can just. That was a good changeover for Hungary in the end. Denmark finishing strongly. Lithuania trying to close down on the Hungarian, but it is a win. Hungary, national record, 43-49. Again, it's that second changeover for our teams. Very, very tight. But celebrations at the moment for Hungary. Hungarian anchor leg runner almost came to a halt. Well, Ukraine, not quite as slick those days of yore when they were European champions. Ilic, the uh, youngster on the Serbian team, not able to quite get the baton to her teammate in time. Here's the current result for Heat A. National record 43-49 for the team leaders. Second place for Denmark, Lithuania, third across the line. First look at the women's triple jump into round two. Romanchuk going out to an early lead as expected, 14-44. Poetry in motion here in the women's triple jump. Marina Beck Romanchuk just flawless technically when she competes. 14-58. Marina Beck Romanchuk extends her lead. I think today all team um, compete for the country, for the people. And I'm very happy today win for my country, for my team. And uh, 
I not say I'm happy because, uh, of course, I wanted is more good results and I'm ready jumping is more. But today is a little bit difficult because a lot of people and you many times see it. And for me, it's a little bit difficult, but it's a win and uh, I'm happy this. <laughs> yeah. So a good roar from the crowd gets these teams underway. Who can get the best on bat on round best and who can show speed on these legs as Denmark have already gone from the race. So winners two years ago, but out here in 2023. Look at Hungary going well, battling with Ukraine who may well have this all their own way down the home straight as Sokolov pulls clear from Slovenia and from Hungary. Ukraine end the day with perfection. 39.03 on the clock. Was a really, really good off the Ukraine. The final changeover was a full stretch and that is what you want. That fantastic last changeover just propelled them down the track. The end of the spectrum, Denmark on the very first handover between uh, Larsen and Kamanga Derbach. Just uh, if uh, Kamanga Derbach went early, Ukraine from Slovenia from Hungary, and then the tenth of the second back to Romanians. So there's the team standings at the end of day two in the second division. Hungary lead with 331 points, Ukraine 37 and a half points further back, and Slovenia in third with 266 and a half points. Now quite a bit of a gap between Slovenia and Lithuania, but a lot can change as we go into the final day with 12 more events to be decided. Down in the relegation positions, it's Iceland, Luxembourg and Moldova in that order.